What's up everyone, Darkscream217 here, and it's time for another discussion topic. I know it's been almost two months since the last one, but I haven't completely forgotten about this series. It's just I had to come up with another interesting, uh, well, another topic to talk about, and I have one in mind that's actually going to be in relation to a future video I might do sometime around Easter Sunday. Um... But, but before I begin with the actual topic, like you, like uh, the last few videos, I will reply to the comments from the last discussion topic, and I talked about the favorite licensing companies in that one. Anthony Legato, I knew you were going to pick Central Park Media, you talked about them several times in my previous videos, and yeah, I do like their cast of voice actors, and whenever, if I ever do find an old CPM licensed show on DVD... Um, sitting around used, there is a good chance I might pick it up. I do have a few used uh, CPM DVDs like uh, Labyrinth of Flames and whatnot, and um, and I still have the first season Slayers uh, from Central Park Media, and I'm going to hang on to that collection because for whatever reason, even though I have the Funimation box set, they cut out the last 30 seconds to the final episode for whatever reason. Slasher Master 28, Funimation Easily, they just have a knack for picking the right voice actors in hell, at least you can always expect great DVD sets from them. That much is true, um, now they're doing, most of the time they're doing DVD Blu-ray combo packs, and I have the second half of Helsing like that, and, um, the next series that uh, is catching my interest, which is also DVD Blu-ray box set, is a comedy series called Good Luck Girl or Bimbo Gamiga. Chibi Jishi, she also answered Funimation and Nozomi Entertainment, that was one of my answers in the video, um, and Sentai Filmworks, yeah, they're trying to be ADV films sometimes, not as good, but they do manage, I have a few, um, a few shows licensed by them, um, High School of the Dead, um, what else, uh, Maria Holick, um, Bodacious Space Pirates, and that might be all of, off the all I can think of off of the top of my head. I also have um, another on Blu-ray, The Girl with the Eye Patch, and I'm actually currently watching that show. Uh, I might finish it sometime this week. Um, I put about five episodes in last night. It's a pretty interesting show, snail's pace, but yeah, whenever something shocking happens, at least it delivers in that area somewhat. Duke Nukem 3DO answered Genion. That was a company I also liked because they, uh, uh, well, before Funimation, they licensed almost everything Tenchi. Um, they also licensed a bunch of other shows I. Uh, I was interested in, like the Helsing Ultimate series, Derek Yasha, ADV Films, um, I answered that already, Funimation by ASM Knight, uh, and Jonathan, it was ADV Films, but now it's Funimation, okay, okay. Cool NASCAR guy, Funimation his favorite, though he also liked ADV Films when it existed, AK14, also known as Windsor 321. Viz is getting some brownie points recently. Ah, yeah, they have the the license to the Berserk uh, films. Um, I actually don't have a single DVD license from Funimation in my collection. Um, I really am hoping that they do a rescue license on um, Bakuman because I really like the manga to that, and I was che I was totally digging the anime up until Media Blasters crapped itself. Um, Aaron. He likes Funimation, ADV Films, and Viz Media, and Sploosh321, Genion, because Genion. Wait, my bad. I actually do have something licensed by Viz. I think they were the license behind the live-action Detroit Metal City on DVD, which is what I have. Aptendo. Crunchyroll, if it counts. I... Um... What are your opinion on some anime with good dubs uh well excel saga was was really good i liked its dub yeah the main character could be annoying but it's jessica calvello and that's why i, I like her um what are the good dubs out there 
Uh, apparently, I heard the dub to El Hazard was so good that the uh, that the original Japanese creator prefers to watch it like that over the um, over the original Japanese language. That's a good dub too, but um, uh, but I don't know if that's uh, completely true or not. There's just a, too many examples for me to list them all off the top of my head quickly. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is painting and stocking with garter belts. Uh, Sonic X9, could you do a review of Sonic the Hedgehog the movie if I could ever find a copy of it on DVD? Uh, and yeah, that dub, the, the dub to that movie did suck in comparison to the Sonic X dub. However, Sonic X is still a far shittier show, but that's just me. And Jim George Baker, only companies I can think of is Funimation or Manga Entertainment. Um, Manga Entertainment, they, they're a pretty decent licensing company. I mean, they've also got a handful of bad things, but they also... Had some good shows. Uh, they relicensed Castle Kelly's show with a dub with Solid Snake as the voice of Lupin. That was awesome. And they also have um, Street Fighter 2, the anime movie, and I love that movie to death. So yeah, that's a pretty good company. All right, now to move to the topic at hand. Um, this topic, if you haven't checked the title out, it's the first anime you ever bought. Now I have two things to say about this before you actually start posting comments. One, it has to be an anime you bought with your money or whatever, or, or it could be money that you got as a gift that you used to buy the anime. It can't be a gift from a friend or, uh, or something your mother gave to you when you were a kid. It was something you saved up money and you spent it on yourself. And the second thing, it could be anything. It could be DVD, it could be VHS, it could be Blu-ray, it could be Laserdisc. If you have a Laserdisc story, I would like to hear that. And I think that's all I got to say um, uh, 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 when you uh, post your answer in the uh, comments or video response. Um, let's see. I guess I could start with my answer. Um, Toonami was still on the air. I don't know if it was still on weekdays or not or moved to Friday because there was that Maguzi block that aired after school, if anyone remembers that. Um... You know, where they showed Ko Code Lyoko and Totally Spies on. Um, but I was really not getting into Toonami when it was airing. Uh, and this was like long before the down, the, the huge decline it had that led to its uh, cancellation. But I did tape record some old Toonami episodes when I was just checking it out. And I had some episodes of Dragon Ball Z, the Android Saga, as well as um, as well as some episodes of Tenchi Muyo, and some other things in between. But it was mostly Tenchi and Dragon Ball Z. Those were the top two shows I was getting into. I rewatched those episodes. I was really loving them, and I was like, man, I really miss Tenchi. So I was uh, so that's when I thought, you know, maybe I should probably buy some anime on DVDs or something. And I recently bought a PlayStation 2 as well, so I would actually have something to play it on. And I went to a Suncoast, and they had the Tenchi Muyo Mahoshi Special Pretty Sammy OVA duology that you could see on the left side. It was about 30 bucks, um, uh, and uh, that was a lot. Shit, that was a lot of money back then, and it was like so few content too. There was only like four OVAs on that DVD. And I decided to pick it up because, hey, I was a fan of Tenchi. I want to try out something Tenchi. I don't think this aired on Toonami before. I want to check it out. I bought the money on Easter weekend. I, I bought the DVD on Easter weekend. I go, I check it out. Back then, I liked it. Nowadays, it's, uh, well, it's still funny at times, but, but man, uh, it, it just uh, did not age that well for me. I show, uh, and then later, but I still like purchasing the DVD to the point where I, I wanted to do more of it. So afterwards, I actually bought the Tenchi, the first Tenchi movie, which I know didn't air in Toonami, but I was told it aired on the Sci-Fi Network uh, a couple times or maybe one time. And I also picked up Volume One of Tenchi Muyo, the OVA series. And alongside that, I wanted to check out an anime I've, you know, I've heard a little bit about, but I never seen on TV anywhere. And that was Excel Saga Volume One, uh, you could see on the right side. And since then, it kind of it, it snowballed to the anime collecting nut I've became today. 
But if anyone else is interested about the rest of the story, uh, like I said, I might be talking about this in a future story like vlog because uh, that was almost 10 years ago. It's been 10 years I've been collecting anime and I have stocked up a pretty hefty collection and I still continue to buy anime to this day because there are companies out there that will always grasp my interest in the titles that I will look into and I will buy it and then I will watch it on DVD and I will enjoy it to the best I can. So, that's all I gotta say. Um, what's your story if you have one? Uh, or what was the first anime you ever bought? It could be individual volumes, it could be VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, Laserdisc. It'd be awesome I get a Laserdisc story, but I doubt it. And, again, it has to be something you bought. Alright. So that's all I got to say. Leave a comment if you wish. Darkscream217 signing out.